Hey guys, it's Ray Davis with Sixth Sense Media. I'm out for a walk with my dog, Mia. And I thought I would do a quick video while I'm out. Let's see her back here. I want to talk about this uh, study from Oxford University, talking about the Fermi Paradox and the Drake Equation. You may have seen this article on Quartz.com. I think it's been posted a few other places as well. This group called the Future Institute of Humanity at Oxford University has re-examined the Drake equation in an attempt to answer Fermi's paradox. And of course, if you know what Fermi's paradox is, it's the famous question asked by the astronomer Enrico Fermi in 1950. Uh, the story goes he was sitting at lunch and he asked if there are aliens, why haven't we seen them? You know, basically, where are they? And so it's been called the Fermi paradox since then. And the question is, why don't we see evidence of aliens if they exist? And of course, for those of us in ufology or who have studied these things in any detail and don't have certain dogmas that we live by, we recognize that there is a lot of evidence of these things. So anyway, they redid this equation to determine that despite the number of galaxies, despite the number of stars in the universe, our appearance here is so unlikely that we must be alone, probably. And that if there is any other life in the universe, it's so far away that we could never contact it or reach it. Now, I think that's a lot of nonsense. First of all, we do have tons of evidence that something is going on in this planet and our skies. I don't think that's even disputable by anybody who would even look at some of the facts. Now, whether they're extraterrestrials or something else, that's still to be determined. I happen to think that's at least part of that equation. But the idea, frankly, that we're alone in this universe is just, to me, nonsense. It strikes me as more trying to tell the masses there's nothing to see here. And I really don't see the point of it at this point. I mean, we have government agencies, we have credible sources coming out with information, videos, eyewitness testimony of craft and things are seen in the sky. So I really don't understand why a distinguished university like Oxford would support a ridiculous study like this at this point in history. But anyway, they did. I just wanted to do a quick video of it to let you know that I think it's, well, I want to be respectful, but I do think it's a little bit of nonsense. And I do think that it has an agenda behind it. Again, basically to tell the masses in this era where we're reaching a point where we're going to have disclosure or we've had disclosure, that there's still nothing to see here. I think they've decided to be on the wrong side of history. This is Ray Davis with Sixth Sense Media. Please like and subscribe below, and we will talk to you again soon.